Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. It's Thursday, June 1st. Having some problems with the internet. Spectrum uh, sent us a thing saying there's a outage right now. This has been happening. Uh, this is about the third time it's happened in a couple weeks. So I don't know what's going on with them. So I'm not able to get to anything that uses the internet. I'm not able to get to the uh, nice news, but I'm able to use her phone because she had the, I sent the today's tidbits to her on messenger and they, she'd already received them before the power went out. I mean, before the power went out, before the internet went out. So I do have those on her phone. So I can do that and I decided to do a taste test. So anyway, it's currently at 66 degrees, high today is 82, chance of rain 17% and winds at one mile per hour. It's not much of a wind, but uh, today, I hope you watched Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews last night, um, I, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If not, check it out. It's always a good show. Uh, Today, there'll be a taste test with Mike. I tried something from Dollar Tree. It's SpaghettiOs with chicken meatballs. Supposedly a little healthier version of their sp SpaghettiOs with meatballs. So check that out today. Um, what's for dinner? We'll probably eat out tonight, it being the first of the month. Uh, so we'll probably do that. Give us a break. And uh, also, uh, I swear, I, uh, birds must not taste cayenne pepper because I put cayenne all over those sprouts of the peas that they've been eating. Uh, I put cayenne all over them. I mean, it was orange around there. And uh, got up this morning, and there they were, uh, gone. There's a, a few that haven't, you know, come out yet. So if I want peas, I'm going to have to go to the extreme of covering the top of that bed up with uh, bird netting. Because it wasn't the chipmunks this time. The first couple times it was because they ate the green beans too. But the birds don't mess with anything but the peas for some reason. This is the third time I've planted them. And uh, so I'm just weighing whether I want to do it or not. Um, if I did, it would just be because it's just... I'm determined to have some so I don't know I still got some bird netting and I was going to use it left I mean I was going to use it on this first bed but if I use it for that I won't have enough unless I buy more but um, nothing's really messing with the peppers and tomatoes out here though so I don't really have to do that much you know to keep things out it, even if they get in there I've seen a couple of places where they've dug holes a little bit but they haven't done anything to the plants over there so and that's usual the, the usual case nothing really they just don't really like i don't know about the peppers why they don't eat the pepper you know on the pepper plants but i can see the tomatoes because you know if you rub the uh, rub a tomato plant the stems they really got like a uh kind of like what is it marigolds or uh, is that the one that they don't like i think it is um, kind of like those, it's got kind of a funky smell, you know, uh, real greenish, like, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but um, the only thing that has messed with any tomato plant is the groundhog. And it, it pulled the one over there in the garage, I've got two in pots, it pulled the furthest one out, pulled it through its cage, and I had to put it back through the cage, and I put cayenne in the pot, so I don't know if that'll help or not, but... The birds obviously like spicy pea sprouts because <laughs> it was all over them. I'm not kidding. I don't see how they ate it. I mean, they must not, they must not taste it <laughs> is what I'm thinking. So, uh, and you know, it's funny because I've got film. Uh, I'm sure it was probably when it, the, the one that did it. I've got a, a short of one of the birds that was sitting right there on the, the, trellis right beside the peas so i might have the culprit uh actually on video so it doesn't matter really okay um 
I need to do a, a garden update soon because a lot of stuff has really grown. Uh, they're growing pretty fast, especially after that rain. So on today's tidbits, I do have them. And on this one, uh, it says flesh eating bacteria found in seaweed heading to Florida. You know, we've talked about it. What's it called? Sargassum or something like that. Well, you can see that. Uh, it's all tons of it headed towards Florida. Uh, we've talked about it, but this is the first I've heard about the flesh-eating bacteria. According to a study from Florida Atlantic University, the enormous blob of seaweed making its way towards Florida beaches may carry dangerous flesh-eating bacteria. The Vibrio bacteria were found in high concentrations in the beached sargassum seaweed. Yes, yeah, sargassum. The flesh-eating bacteria can infect through an open wound or by eating contaminated food. Don't eat any seaweed. <laughs> Don't eat any kelp or whatever they call it. Uh, that wouldn't be good. Giant water plume. You, but, you know, obviously you'll probably hear something about somebody that jumped right into that stuff or something. I mean, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, you know. This one says, giant water plume discovered on Saturn's moon. Uh, scientists are astounded after James Webb captured a huge water plume erupting from Saturn's moon Enceladus. Surprisingly, it's over 20 times larger than the moon itself. The moon's potential to harbor life is reinforced by its saline water and other favorable conditions. Also, the plume spews an incredible 79 gallons of water per second. Wow! So maybe they're thinking there might be life on the moon, one of the moons of, what, Saturn was it? Yeah. And Massachusetts receives grizzly visitors on sunny day. Recently, a bear cub and its mother made an unexpected visit to Groton, Massachusetts. A video caught on camera shows the cub napping for about 40 minutes on a tree in the bright sun. The mama bear stayed on the ground nearby. Mass wildlife official, officials said that Groton is a part of the established range of black bears in Massachusetts. And ISS makes a grand pass over Northeast Ohio Tuesday. I think you can actually see the pictures better on this phone than using the tablet. It just has more to reflect, you know, it's got reflections in it too much. The International Space Station was visible in the night sky over northeast Ohio Tuesday. The bright object was easily spotted because the night sky was very clear. According to experts, the ISS rose in the northwest around 9.23 p.m., peaking at 84 degrees around 9.26 p.m., and set in the southeast at 9.30 p.m. It is expected to make more passes in July. That was I bet that was neat, if you could see it. Okay. All right, that's it for today's tidbits. Let's do a taste test. You've probably seen the uh, thumbnail now. I tried one of these before and it was just strawberry in it, but this one is mixed berry. It shows what raspberries, blueberries, and strawberry there. So let's check out the nutrition facts. I'll go ahead and get it out. Okay, in one pouch it's got 90 calories, one and a half grams of total fat is 2%, one gram of saturated fat is 5%, it's got no trans fat, 5 milligrams of cholesterol is 2%, 60 milligrams of sodium 4%, 15 grams of carbs 5%, no fiber, sugar is 14 grams of total sugars and 12 grams added, is 24%, 20% uh, of vitamin D, 10% of calcium, and 4% of potassium. I was trying to see if it has, I don't see any um, high fructose sugar, I just see sugar, that's really good. It's got blueberry, yeah, strawberry, and what was it? What else I say? Raspberry? 
some fruit. Huh. Can you concentrate? Why do they show a uh, natural flavor? Why don't they have, um, oh, there it is, raspberry. So I was right, raspberry, blueberry, and strawberry. And 1.5% 1 1 milk fat with vitamins A and D added. No high fructose corn syrup, so that's good, it says on it. It says freeze for lunch boxes. I bet that would be a neat thing, though, to freeze these, because the way they are, they, they would make like a little uh, ice pack. Or something. Okay. That's all. Oh, yum. Golly, I like the strawberry a lot, but this is, this is really good, too. That is really good. I mean, um, what was it on the 24% of sugars? That's really the only thing at all, uh, you know, that's, I wouldn't say it's a problem, you know, but that's the only thing at all that could be, you know, not good for certain people if they're watching their sugar. Oh, man, that's great. It almost tastes like a like a smoothie this way. And only ninety calories. Um on the nutrition facts, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. I'm gonna take a little bit off of that sugar. And these taste great. They really do. I'm gonna give it a five out of five for flavor. Mm. Those are really good. Really good. I'll get those again. Probably wait till they're on sale again. They were on sale when I got them. I can't remember how much they were right now, though. But uh, looks like maybe the internet's coming on. That's why I'm getting all these. Yeah, I bet it is. Let's see if I can turn something down. It makes me wonder now if. Uh, I could see. Let's see if I can get. Uh, that's why it was be it was getting receiving all the. Uh, my gosh, where is it? Oh, well, it hadn't got them all. No, these are. It says checking mail. I don't know if. Mm -mm. I don't have it all on here yet. For some reason, it's got some some messages from darn 2021. I don't know. That's crazy. Let's see if it'll work. Now. Yeah buffering um, I don't know why it would sh you know show up and then buffer I don't know something still isn't right I wonder if it's even on the where is the internet let's see what it says oops turned off says Wi-Fi. Now, let's see if it'll... These are really good, y'all. I would, I really recommend those. Now let's see what it does. Well, it's still buffering. So I don't want to sit here and wait forever on that. Maybe it's getting ready to straighten itself out though, because it at least got all the messages in, but when you click on them, it's just buffering. 
still. So there's still something wrong. So I guess that's going to be it today for our morning coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. Sorry I didn't, wasn't able to get to the nice news today. Um, check out Taste Test with Mike. I hope I can get that out if it, it should straighten up. Uh, Going to try some SpaghettiOs with chicken meatballs from Dollar Tree. So have a great day, everybody, and God bless.